Hey everybody, it's Becky. I am standing in my living room looking into my kitchen. I wanted to share with you my after of my kitchen. Um, really nothing has changed design wise. I just did my usual spring cleaning um, and re, you know, freshened up some things here and there. The only thing that really changes from time to time is the placemats. These are my kind of spring summer placemats. I want to get some different ones, but that's what I have right now. And I will usually have something in the middle of the table. I I didn't like what I had and so I decided not to put it out and also because we're going to be going on vacation soon and I use the dining room table to um, put suitcases and small things that we want to put in the car so I didn't want to clutter it up too much right now. Everything pretty much stayed the same design wise. I added a couple little things for summer that were new. Um, we still have the little pictures above the cabinets from Kohl's a couple years ago and the little sign, which I think came from Gordman's. Last year, my husband actually made that um, faux Roman shade for me, which is blowing because it's raining outside. Um, but he made that for me. It's a no sew Roman shade that we found on Pinterest. And then also I showed in my easy inexpensive kitchen updates video that I will link down below, just kind of the little revamp we did right there in the corner last summer. We put the under the cabinet light right there. Um, and then I just changed some things for the season. But I'm gonna show you how everything's organized and most of the things were already this way. I just uh, cleaned them out and refreshed them. So this is our silverware drawer. I have all of our plastic knives and things like that. So if we have a party or we're going on a picnic, that's where those stay. And then we have our Mickey silverware. So we have knives, two different sizes of spoons. The small ones go this direction. The large ones go that direction. Same thing with the forks. The large ones go that way. And the short ones go the other way. We just have our Mickey Mouse corn cob picks and some of the little straw huggers that there's a goofy one I guess the other ones are dirty and the knives stay in the back and I just have kind of specialty spoons the girls still like to eat out of these little spoons and I have some Mickey spoons sadly a lot of their ears have fallen off I think he's the only one I have left and then I have medicine dispensers like the little spoons and the cups an extra scoop and then I have my Mickey salad um, salad fork and spoon have some kitchen scissors and my can opener. Oh, the little ladybug is a timer that came from Hobby Lobby. At the bottom, and this, this I showed in my kitchen updates video too, we went ahead and decided to use this cabinet as a trash can storage because I didn't like having the trash can sitting out. So this silver thing here is just something you can buy that you mount to your cabinet and that way your cabinet, your trash can can stay tucked away in there. I keep my can bands attached on a binder ring on this little um, metal frame. That way when the one breaks, I can replace them. These, those things are actually what holds the trash can on so that whenever you put something in the trash, it doesn't fall down and make the bag fall down. Back here, I just have a container of cleaning, um, like dusting and cleaning rags. Up here with Velcro stri or command strips, I just mounted a Mr. Clean eraser, my oven scraper, and a cleaning toothbrush. And then here I have all of our cleaning supplies. So our dishwashing tablets, my homemade vinegar cleanser, some Windex, um, Clorox wipes, Mr. Clean for my mop. And way in the back I have some vinegar that I use to refill this with. And then some of the Cerama Bright um, stovetop cleanser. And then this slides out. And so in the stuff that we use the very least, I put back here. So I've got some carpet spray, some room freshener, which I never use baby powder which works really good to keep ants um, away when they want to come in behind their refrigerator in the spring i will sprinkle that and they don't come back and then some baking powder and then in the back of this uh, frame it actually has room for trash bags so i have a box of trash bags some of the extra little tabs that go on the inside of cabinets like the bumpers and then the cleaning tablets for my steam mop which i hardly ever use anymore but i love this i know it takes up some of the room in the cabinet and it you know, you have to sacrifice a little bit of space. But I like having it tucked away, and I had some trash cans before that would sit out in the kitchen, and they just never looked right. So I'm glad that it's tucked away in there. And we just have the dishwasher. Of course, the sink. And then below the sink, where a lot of people typically have their cleaning products, I decided to put my large things like cookie sheets, cutting boards, my crock pot, my really deep spaghetti pots. And in the very back, I have a, a little tiny crock pot and underneath that is a fondue um, pot. And then in the very back, I just have some lids that I hardly ever use. And then over here, I also have some lids. So I don't have a whole lot of lids and I hardly ever use them. So they're, they're in there. These are actually in here with these um, little racks you can get at the container store. You can probably find it on Amazon also. They mount to the bottom of the cabinet, so they're sturdy. 
I think it's time for a new cookie sheet. But they help to keep the cookie sheets and the serving platters and the muffin tins, everything upright so they don't fall over. Now this kitchen did come with a little tiny cabinet next to the sink, which I think was designed for the cookie sheets, but it wasn't big enough. So this is actually our drink cabinet. This is actually our drink cabinet. So in the bottom I have this jumbo sized Nesquik that came from Costco and in the back I have the Costco Organic Hot Cocoa. The second shelf I just have tea bags and some of the instant hot chocolate. And then I have marshmallows for the hot chocolate and up there I have our Brita water pitcher um, filter refills. So that worked out perfect, a perfect use for that little tiny cabinet. And then here next to that, I have our glasses cabinet. So up at the top, I have some more summer plastic glasses, our big punch bowl, and then our Christmas glasses. And we do have some martini glasses back there, even though we don't drink. I thought they were pretty when I was younger and I've, I've had them for years, but we don't put anything alcoholic in them. The second shelf is my little Galway Crystal Irish Clover glasses, my coffee mugs and tea mugs, which I never drink coffee or tea really and then the kids cups so they have a couple tinkerbell things and little plastic cups on the bottom we have all of our drinking glasses so i have my little orange juice glasses i use every morning um and some mickey glasses all these are mickey glasses and these are from mcdonald's like years and years ago my husband likes to drink out of those otherwise i would get rid of them this little corner i just tried to make it cute i just got i had the lemons i had them for a couple years and i switch them out uh, I switched the things out in this globe seasonally. So now it's back to the lemons. And I, this I just picked up at Hobby Lobby. It says Sweet Tangy Lemonade. And this cute little boxwood I think came from Gordman's. I have just my paper towels here. And then this I started doing about, I don't know, four months ago or so. I just printed it free off the internet and put it in an Ikea frame. And so whenever I do my meal plan, I will write on there what we're going to have. That way it keeps me on track. I know what I'm going to make. I don't forget. And then the kids, whenever they want to know, they can come and see what's on the menu. And Lazy Susan, here she is. Okay. They're really hard to organize. They honestly are. These containers came from Walmart last year. So I have kind of a cookie section. Right now there's nothing in that one back there. But we do have some organic animal crackers in the front. Have graham crackers raisins and then if we were to have any kind of organic goldfish or anything like that it would go back there right here is the or annie's organic pretzels which are almost empty a couple m m's and some pecans from costco right here in this container which is again almost empty i need to go to the grocery but that's usually where we keep any granola bars or fruit bars or anything like that they stay in here and this came from container store and it's divided it's perfect size for those this bin is with my youngest daughter's organic baby food pouches. I've talked about this before. She is not a baby, but they're organic. They're good for her. She still likes them. And why would you not give her vegetables if she's willing to eat them? So there's apples and blueberries and spinach and all different kinds. And she still likes those and they're great for traveling. So we have quite a few of those. The um, Whole Foods Quick Oats. And then this one's got cream of wheat in it. And then we just have our peanut butter and kind of spread section. So a couple different brands of organic peanut butter. I like the Kroger brand better. My youngest daughter likes the Whole Foods brand better. And then we have some of the Trader Joe's cookie butter back there, which nobody ever eats. And then some honey in the very back, right, right there. On the bottom, we just have cereal. Um, we may, mainly get the same three types of cereal. And so I just got three of the cereal containers from Walmart last year. They're BPA free. And then in the middle, we have a candy box. Now, we don't usually have that much candy. Right now we do because we just had Easter, so the girls got like Whoppers and Reese eggs and things like that. So that is full right now. But if I have packs of gum, extra ones, or the girls do have any types of candy or suckers, they go in there. The dog food is in this uh, container I found at Target. And then his dog cookies and his peanut butter that we use to put inside his Kong. He has his own peanut butter. And then this is where I keep onions, potatoes, and then my scrubber for potatoes if I need to wash and it all goes in there. So that's the Lazy Susan. I forgot a cabinet. Uh, next to that is what we use for our cups, anything that goes out of the house to drink. So we have our Mickey uh, Disney World cups that we take with us sometimes to restaurants. The kids have their Tervis mugs and their water bottles from Justice. And then I have my extra water bottle and the Brita pitcher, the Brita filter bottles for the girls. So anything that we would take a drink to go out of the house with and it has lids they all go in here and then I use these Walmart bins to organize the lids so the lids are with the cups so you know where everything is and you know where to put it back above the stove 
we just keep pasta, crackers, I have my penne noodles, um, larger noodles there, and then my rice is in the bottom one. We just happen to have an extra box of crackers, but normally the crackers stay in that container. That's the spaghetti container. Um, so that's just mostly pasta. Next to that cabinet, I have my spice cabinet, and I have my cookbooks up at the top, a hardly ever used bottle of vegetable oil and some extra salt, and then I have my Misto, and my olive oil. I have two of the Pyrex measuring cups and then this shelf is all baking things. So muffin tins, sil silicone muffin tins, toothpicks. This container's got picks and candles and this container's got sprinkles and food coloring. Then down here at the bottom, I went ahead and put my spices. They used to be on like a stair step organizer. Now they're just on this little lazy Susan because I don't have a whole lot of spices. So I have all my spices and my salt and pepper here. And then my larger spices from Costco, I have garlic salt, taco seasoning, and chili powder, all these big things from Costco. My sugar shaker, and my vinegar pour, which came from Walmart, and then some lime juice because I'm planning on trying out making my own chipotle chicken, or chipotle cilantro lime rice, so I have lime for that. Below that, I have my banana hanger, which they got broken apart and they're not hanging. I have my large utensil drawer. So this is all things I use to cook. So I have my spoons and my spaghetti spoon here. The middle one is all of my measuring spoons, measuring cups, I have two sets of those. I have my George Foreman scrapers. And then this thing, which I never use, which is a, I think it's a Joy Mangano thing. You, you would like stab a vegetable with it and then cut it. That way you wouldn't drop, you know, drop the vegetable and cut your hand. I never use it though. And then this side is all spatulas and my tongs. These dividers are called the kitchen dream drawers. You can get dream drawers for like a deeper um, clothing drawer set, like chest of drawers. But these are not as tall, so they're meant to go in kitchen cabinets and they expand so you can divide them up in different ways. And I like to use them just to keep everything in its section. Below that is my um, dishcloth and dish towels drawer and then my little scrubbers which are looking kind of raggedy but that's where they go. The bottom drawer I really hardly ever use except for the pot holders. We've got some of the girls old lunch bags. I've got these chair covers from the Dollar Tree. I've got some for Easter and some for Halloween. Aprons that I never use and I've only got three pot holders so they stay in there and then extra um, brown paper bags which again since my girls are homeschooled we hardly ever use. Underneath that are just trivets. Some of the girls have made, some that I've gotten as gifts. So those stay in there. Over here in the pantry, there's a top and a bottom. Up there, I'm not going to get into. It's really just picture, like um, really big uh, flower vases and things like that. So it's all glass kind of things, and I don't want to have to climb up there. But that's what's up there is, is vases mostly. In here I have all of our medicine. I have all my candles up here and votives and anything candle related goes there. The middle section is all my placemats. And then the bottom section is our medicines. So vitamins and sunscreen that if the girls are wanting to go out to play, um, I've got that right there to put on them. And then in the very back, I have extra of the girls' vitamins and this big thing right here and that don't belong there typically. We're going to be going on vacation soon and those are disposable cups and spoons which normally are not there. The bottom of the pantry is really my main area to store food. So the top shelf is a bread bin that I got at the Dollar Tree. So we just have some bread and rice cakes in the back. I keep all of our overstock of food. Since we do shop at Costco, a lot of times we get more than one of everything. So I've got extra spaghetti sauce, gra grape jelly from Whole Foods, extra A1. I've got some extra baby food pouches, some more uh, graham crackers, extra syrups. All the extra stuff goes back there. This shelf is primarily beans and um, some tomatoes. And then this shelf is a lot of extra, like any kind of cream of chicken or anything. We have some tuna, spinach, pears, and there's, there's a slot missing for the um, organic sliced peaches that we get at Kroger. Down here is um, cooking, like baking essentials. So like um, cookie baking supplies, all my cookie cutters, the paint brushes that we use to, to decorate our Christmas cookies, my silicone rolling mat that we use to roll out the cookies, rolling pin, and then our pumpkin carving supplies. And then I just have some cornstarch and baking powder, uh, baking soda for school crafts. 
And then down here at the bottom, it's kind of an awkward cabinet because the water tubes go through the back of it to get to the refrigerator. So I kind of just put, again, in the very back, extra things. I have some little canapé sandwich cutters and that pink thing, which I never use. Extra Reynolds wrap, a big giant bag of sugar from Costco. My favorite tomato soup, and then the girls like the organic chicken noodle soup from Campbell's. I have my Costco um, olive oil that whenever the one in my, that cabinet gets empty, I will refill it with that. And then some hot sauce I got my husband for Valentine's Day. The last thing is what I've always called a snack bar. I guess now it's called an island, but we grew up calling it a snack bar. But anyway, so the left drawer is all napkins and um, my Winnie the Pooh set of napkin ring holders, which are really cute. Normally we don't have these paper napkins, but they were on sale after Valentine's Day, so we do have a couple. Otherwise, we have these cloth ones. The pink ones came from Amazon, and then these down at the bottom are ones from Disney, the Disney store years ago. I have just one type of the Target brand plastic bags. Normally the straws are not this long. We usually get the shorter ones, but these are the crazy long ones from Dollar Tree. Normally the smaller ones fit perfectly in this container, but right now they're kind of hanging over a little bit. And then just some Reynolds wrap and wax paper. And this drawer, which I had shown in a previous video, it really hasn't changed a whole lot. I just used these. All these containers came from the Dollar Tree. These and then this bigger one. So we just have our car keys, my husband's earbuds, and his knives. And then when he comes in from work, he'll put his wallet right there. Um, I have a little pair of scissors, chip clips from Ikea. This bigger container is all the girls' hair things. A lot of times I will end up forgetting to do their hair upstairs and I'll end up doing it down in the living room. So we have detangler, a brush, a couple combs, some ponytail holders that I always put on a binder ring so they stay together. This little thing that puts little jewels in their hair. And then little plastic, like the clear plastic ponytail holders that stays in there. Back here I have their personal fans. I've talked about those before. We always take them on vacation, but I have them down here in case we are going to the park or something. I can just grab them and if they get hot, they can use them. Back here we have extra sun uh, glasses, cleaning cloths and spray. And then I just have some extra refrigerator magnets and two of the long uh, lighters from the Dollar Tree. At the bottom, I have these slide out trays, which I've shown before in I think probably that same video about the inexpensive um, kitchen updates. These big ones came from the container store. We've had them in here for probably four or five years now and I love them. So they fit perfectly in between the two in the cabinet and then with this thing in the middle. I put my toaster in this Dollar Tree shoe box so that the crumbs that are often falling out of the toaster don't get in the cabinet. And I just went ahead and put the lid underneath so I don't lose it. But that fits perfectly in there. I have my blender and my smoothie maker, which that's the smoothie maker container. And one of my favorite kitchen items, if not my very favorite, is my Cuisinart onion chopper. It's a mini food processor, but I really just use it to chop onions. I love that thing. In between, I have a hand mixer that I maybe use once a year, and so it wouldn't fit because it's tapered. It wouldn't fit without that thing underneath. So I just turned a Dollar Tree organizer upside down, set it on that, and it gave it just enough height so that it will clear these, these uh, pull-out trays. On this side, I have all of my mixing bowls and then my Pyrex storage bowls. So it, again, it pulls out. I went ahead and put, last year these lids were on in a different cabinet, but I went ahead and put them in this organizer that's actually a CD organizer from Target. And so all the Pyrex lids for all the bowls are in here so I don't have to go two places to get it. I've got all my big glass mixing bowls, my Pyrex uh, glass food storage bowls, and then my stainless steel mixing bowls. And up here on the top shelf, I just have this weird little gap right here, so I put my George Foreman drip trays in there. I used a plate stand to put my George Foreman right there, and then my little Tupperware, um, Tupperware hand mixer at the bottom. I have my rice maker, and then over here, I just have my large glass Pyrex dishes with the lids that are with them. And then I have one blue plastic Tupperware um, tray that sometimes I use to marinate to marinate chicken in. So that stays over there. And I also forgot to show you my plate cabinet. So I try, I just rearranged this a little tiny bit this year. Mostly it stayed the same. I have all of our little small plates for like maybe a sandwich or a little snack. I've got three different sizes of those. Our bigger dinner plates, I have my William Sonoma ones and then my Mickey Mouse ones. I have my white Williams Sonoma kind of the bowls like that. And then on this side I have all of the 
plastic plates. So I've got mostly, I think they're mostly Disney. I've got Nemo and Mickey Mouse and some Disney pizza plates from Disney World a couple years ago. So that's where they all stay. On the second shelf, I have all bowls. Um, normally these would probably go with the food storage bowls, but we use those for cereal in the morning a lot. Sometimes I do use them for extra food storage, and so that's why the lids for those are in here, again, in one of these Dollar Tree white trays. It slides perfectly in there, and that way if we use it for food storage, I know where the matching bowls or lids are. And then I have my Williams Sonoma white bowls. There's actually more than this, but I guess they're in the dishwasher. I have my Mickey ceramic ice cream bowls and then just some fun little plastic bowls for the girls. My little tiny white or my little tiny glass. Um, they're called prep bowls, but they're just little tiny glass bowls that usually we use for small little things. And then a cupcake storage thing back there. And then at the top, I have all my big serving platters and cupcake, my cake stand, my serving platters, a bowl my daughter made me. That cupcake tower thing that you put together and put cupcakes on for parties. And then my big Mickey and some holiday serving platters are in there. Loki's bowls are right there. I also have my fork and spoon that I love. I got at Target a couple years ago. I saw the other day at Pier 1, they had a set that was even bigger. But it would have been like $140 for a fork and a spoon. So I didn't do it since they already had one, but I really love those. And then over the door, going into the schoolroom office, I just have a silver sign that says indulge. And then I have my coffee artwork right there. So I wanted to share this with you guys. I meant to do it last year. I just didn't. Um, I, I got busy and forgot, but I'm glad to finally get it done for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, make sure you like this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.